Hello, what you doing out there in the world tonight? I have no idea. But if you're looking at this, that's because you're interested in knowing why Floyd Mayweather does not have a promotional license with Mayweather Promotions. They may get it in the future. That may be the next move. But it's the smarter move not to have one. You know, they're, they're a LLC. You know, we've covered this in the past, but we'll do it now. But they're a limited liability corporation. And the thing is, is when you have someone distributing it, like Golden Boy Promotions, they're responsible for everything. It's up to them to take care of the officials, the medical fees, and the steroid testing. All that responsibility falls on them, which means that this protects you in case of lawsuits. All the lawsuits would go to Golden Boy Promotions unless it was just outright down fraud by a company. Then, you know, then they would have to deal with that. But other than that, no. I mean, there's a lot of tax of reasons, too, that you don't have to be responsible for. You know, so that helps. And, you know, when you file, there's a, you have to open up all your account history all of that is documented there's a uh, tons of reasons why they don't want to do this or they're not in position to do this right now so i think they save a lot more headaches of dealing with fighters that they may be sued for different reasons and that's a good thing you know you don't want to have to deal with issuing credentials and Dealing with all of that, the gloves and all. That's why Richard Schaefer had to get called into the Madonna situation. You know, they're the distributor. They're the main promoters. So it's their job to handle it. So they had to call Richard Schaefer. Had this been Mayweather Promotions distributing everything, they would have just dictated it from the point and said, basically, take it or leave it. Which they pretty much did anyway because they run Golden Boy at, at that time. Well, now they don't want no parts of at this moment because we don't know who Golden Boy even has that can draw any interest from Mayweather fight besides Canelo. So down the road we'll see what happens with Mayweather promotions but that's the main reason that they don't want to do all this stuff and and someone else asked me like why doesn't Al Heyman get his uh, promotion promoters license Al Heyman is an advisor that would be a conflict of interest and they have laws against that in boxing you know an advisor doing these type of things I mean since he has the title of advisor it may be but when you are a promoter and you get a license there's certain guidelines you have to follow so a lot of things they want you to do to the letter and I don't think there's, it limits his wiggle room as to make moves and conduct business the way he wants to do it. So I think they'll be fine no matter what. They got three big fights ahead of them, especially if you Mayweather. So, you know, the future, we'll see what happens. But as of right now, you know, three big fights, they can probably get someone to distribute easy and get their money. I mean, I, I really don't see the, why they have to rush to get the uh, promoter's license. But when they're in position, I think there's something they'll do. How about? See, see how quick that was?